Hey guys, welcome to my channel and thank you so much for stopping by. So in today's video, I'm going to create this look right here and for that I'm going to use so many Flower Beauty products. Now Flower Beauty was launched in India a couple of months ago and I haven't seen so many people talking about this uh, brand, particular brand and I have tried their lipsticks, their setting spray and I am super duper impressed so far so i decided to grab some more products from flower beauty in case you want to try their products out you can get a clear idea what is good what is not so yeah i'm going to test out so many new flower beauty products for you all so yeah without further ado let's get started before starting if you are new here then hi i am nita I upload makeup, skincare and beauty related videos almost every alternative day. Please take a moment to subscribe for that. Press that red subscribe button. Also press the bell icon next to it so that you get notification whenever I upload and it is absolutely free. So yeah, without further ado, let's get started. As I do not have any uh, brow product from Flower Beauty, I did my brows off camera using my Maybelline Tattoo Studio Brow Pomade. Now I'm going to use this. Flower Beauty Light Illusion Full Coverage Concealer, this one, and this is in the shade Light Medium, and I'm going to clean up the borders of my brows. Let me tell you one thing, the packaging is really, really luxurious, like look at this, it comes in a cardboard packaging, and this copper metallic shine, it's really beautiful, so let me just open it, oh my god, I cannot even open it. So here is the concealer and again the packaging is really really luxurious. So here is the concealer and the consistency is really thin and lightweight and I think this is gonna be a perfect concealer for my skin tone as you guys can see. So for primer, I have here this Flower Beauty Illuminating Face Primer and I have not even used it yet. So let's just open it and so here is the primer. It has a very nice uh, peachy undertone to it. It's not a straight white primer and the color is pretty similar to the Wet n Wild Water Drop Primer. So let's just put it on. Well, I can definitely see a luminous effect on my skin. Can you guys see the glow it just gave me? And one more thing, it just did not emphasize any texture on my skin and it is kind of tacky. And it has definitely blurred out this area. I mean, it's pretty noticeable. So yeah, here it is. I mean, can you see the glow? So it is definitely an illuminating primer. So you definitely say uh, it's an illuminating primer, but it does not have any kind of glitter particle or shimmer particles in it, but it has some kind of illuminating properties. Let me just show you. I hope you can see. So. Here it is. Can you see? It has some kind of illuminating property and it looks really, really pretty. See? So, I'm kind of liking the way my skin is looking right now. It feels like I'm glowing from within and yeah, I, I'm pretty much liking it so far. So let's see how my foundation glides on top of this primer. I do not have any foundation from Flower Beauty. So I'm going to go ahead and use my Milani Conceal Plus Perfect uh, Foundation. This is in the shade 05 Warm Beige. And to blend it out, I'm going to use this Flower Beauty sponge. I have not even used it. This is pretty much new. And one more thing, the uh, sponge is really squishy and soft, as you guys can see. And it is pretty big. So I'm going to go ahead and use this sponge and this foundation. So the sponge did a really really nice job in terms of blending out my foundation and this is how my foundation is looking so far. And 
it is not at all a dewy finish foundation but still my skin is looking dewy and glowy i think it's because of that primer can you see the glow oh my god i'm living for it now let's try out the concealer first of all love the wand i mean look the wand is so thin you can really go right here on your inner corners I think it's a pretty nice match it has a very nice yellow undertone to it which is great for cancelling out all those darkness one more thing I'm not color correcting um, my under eyes because I want to see how much coverage I get out of this concealer So, so far the uh, concealer is blending pretty nicely and this sponge it's reminding me quite a lot of my L'Oreal sponge these two are quite similar Ooh. okay Well, I'd say it's definitely like not like full full coverage concealer but it's medium to full coverage concealer I would say and it's looking pretty good underneath my eyes. So this is uh, just one layer of the concealer and it's not looking bad. It's definitely a medium coverage concealer it's not like full full coverage because I can still see uh, my under eye dark circles peeking through but it's not bad it's quite good I do not have any setting powder or any pressed powder from Flower Beauty so I'm going to go ahead and use my Maybelline Fit Me uh, loose powder in light to set my under eyes and my smile lines and my Rimmel Stay Matte pressed powder in transparent to set my entire face and then I'll be right back so this is how everything is looking after setting uh, with powder and I can still see the glow. I mean look at my forehead and look at this I can still see the glow. It's looking good so far. Now for my eyes I have here this Sugar Rush eyeshadow palette from Flower Beauty and look at the color. I mean. Uh, these purples, these shimmery shades, they look so promising and I am so so excited to use this palette and I have not opened it yet. So let me just open it and give you a quick swatch of all these shades. It says bonus $6 brush and it does come with a brush like this and I think this brush is quite helpful. In terms of blending out your eyeshadow so these are the swatches of all these shades I must admit that I faced a little bit of kickback like see while swatching all these shades so I'm really really tempted to use all these purples in this palette but I feel like I have done so many bubble eye looks on my channel and I really wanted to do something new. So let's see what I come up with. So first I'm taking this transition color right here and you can see I'm facing a lot of kickback. Like see, this part is full of eyeshadow. I'm taking this particular shade this is a very nice pink rosy pink color and I'm just applying it on my crease and 
and these eyeshadows are blending pretty nicely I'm just blending everything out with the flower beauty uh, brush I'm taking uh, this shimmery canberry shade like this one okay it's not looking the way I wanted it to look so I'm taking this shimmery purple shade and I'm going to apply it on top of that Canberra shade. Can you see the fallout over here? I mean, it's pretty bad. I'm taking this dark brown color and I'm going to apply it on my outer V area to give my outer V area a bit of depth. Can you see? It's it's a bit too much. I'm taking this gold shade from the palette and I'm just applying it here on my inner corner. I do not have any flower beauty eyeliner so I'm using my Jordana easy liner for my waterline and for tie lining the dark brown shade that I applied on my outer view area I'm just applying it here I'm not dragging it all the way towards my outer view area I'm just applying it here I kind of want a blown out effect that's why I'm doing it. Mixing the cranberry and the purple shade and I'm just applying it right here on the center. Basically, I'm repeating the same thing that I did for my lid. Taking that golden color, I'm just applying it right here on my inner corner. I'm using this um, Lash Warrior Mascara. This is in the shade Fiercest Black. And I haven't used this mascara yet. So the wand kind of looks like this. And I have a feeling that the wand will be a bit pokey. See. And I got mascara on my nose accidentally. Accident can happen. So this is how my lashes are looking. I have applied mascara on this eye and on this eye I have not applied the mascara. See. So this is how my lashes are looking. I can definitely say that it has given my lashes a bit of volume and length as well. And it's I think it's looking pretty good I'm not going to contour today instead I'm going to bronze up my face and for that I have here this heatwave luminous bronzer and this is in the shade which shade it is luminous bronzer right here so this is a baked bronzer and I was a bit disappointed to see that there were only two shades one is like more of a cool toned bronzer and this one looked like a bit warm toned that's why I picked it up and it is a baked bronzer so first of all it feels so
so creamy i mean it is very very creamy to touch and um here is the swatch i don't know if it is gonna match me or not let's just see so it has a little bit of sheen it's not a matte bronzer and it's showing up a bit as you guys can see so i feel like i need to do contouring then probably i can use it as a bronzer so let me just contour my face because i think otherwise it's not looking good i used my makeup revolution duo face sculpt and contoured my face now just bronze it up a bit again I think it's looking pretty and it's giving me a very nice luminous effect and it is perfect for summers. So here is how my face is looking after applying the bronzer and I must say it's looking pretty good. I don't know but in person it's looking pretty damn good and the color is like it's not too much but it's not too light either it's just perfect amount of bronzer and it's looking pretty good it is a satin finish blush oh my god and this is how it looks it reminds me a lot of uh, those milani powder blushes i mean look at the rose pattern it's so pretty and here is the swatch of the blush let's just put it on okay it's actually looking very very pretty can you see it's not like too much and it's not like very sheer either i mean the pigmentation is just perfect now here comes the most exciting part that is highlighting and I have here this highlighter palette and I am really really excited to try it and I have pretty high expectations from this palette so let's just open it. It comes with a brush like this. Can I use to highlight my face? Probably I can but I'm going to use another brush. So here you get actually three highlighting shades that one is a bit goldeny and this one is the middle one is a bit rose gold type of a color and this one is looking perfect it's a perfect champagne gold color so here is the swatch of all those three shades this is the golden one and i think it's perfect for people with uh, medium to deeper skin tone and this middle one this rose gold one it will be perfect for people with fair skin tone and this one right here this champagne shade i think this shade is perfect for any skin tone so today i'm going with this champagne shade now let's just mix this champagne one and the golden one together are you guys ready? Ooh. Can you see it? Wow, I am impressed. taking this um, setting spray from flower beauty this is the still the dill hydrating setting spray this is not a new product I have used this setting spray earlier and I absolutely love it so for my lipstick today I'm using this flower beauty miracle matte lipstick this is in the shade rosewood again I have tried this lipstick earlier and this formula is really really good so 
that was the products that I got. Now let me just sum up everything for you. I know Flower Beauty is a bit expensive as a drugstore brand and it is expensive in India at least. So let me just sum up every pros and cons for you all. The sponge is really really nice. It is soft and squishy and it just blended out my foundation and my concealer seamlessly. And as I said, it just reminds me of my L'Oreal sponge so I am super duper impressed with the sponge. The concealer is a medium to full coverage concealer and it's looking really pretty underneath my eyes. It has a really nice uh, yellow undertone to it which is looking quite pretty according to me. So again it's just first impression. I have to try it out more to give you like a full in-depth kind of a review. So far, I'm liking this concealer. It just blended beautifully. It is not dry. It's not creasing so far. And it is looking quite nice. Now the primer. The formula of this one is pretty new to me. I have not tried anything like this before. It is pretty new to me. As I have mentioned, it has a very nice luminosity. Some illuminating property. It's not glittery. It's not like... Uh, shimmery I don't know how to explain it but it has some kind of very finely milled uh, like illuminating property and it just made my skin look luminous and one more thing it did not exaggerate any texture on my face which I absolutely love if you are like dry skin type this can be a great option and it also blurred out my imperfections a bit which is again a good thing so yeah i am so far impressed with the primer i have to try it out more to give you a full in-depth review but so far i'm liking this primer talking about the blush first of all i like the packaging i like this rose pattern over here i like the color and it is so soft so so soft it just blended beautifully it's not overly powdery it's not overly chalky it is just a perfect blush according to me now talking about the bronzer first of all it is so soft it is a baked bronzer and it has some uh, golden properties in it and it just made my skin look so luminous i think this is perfect for summers the only disappointing thing about this bronzer is there are only two shades. I mean, there should be at least four shades for every skin tone. If you are darker than me, then I don't think we're gonna find your perfect shade match. That is the only con and I actually like this bronzer. I mean, on top of my contour, it, it was just looking beautiful. I mean, it is looking beautiful so far. I kind of like this bronzer so so much talking about the highlighter i mean i am super duper impressed this highlighter palette is like a must have for me all these shades are very very pretty this is freaking blinding if you do not like that blinding highlight on your cheeks probably you are not gonna like it but i like my highlighter to pop I mean, if I'm wearing highlighter, anybody can say that I am wearing highlighter. This is not something glow from within kind of a thing. No, this is not. This is a freaking blinding highlighter. And I can see myself wearing this highlighter a lot. I am super, super duper impressed with this highlighter. And one more thing, it is not shimmery at all. This is just perfect amount of highlighter and it's not at all shimmery. It's just, it's just my highlighting dream you can say it is it is just perfect i am so so impressed with the quality of this uh, flower beauty mascara and the wand is a bit pokey and look at that it just made my lashes look so big so voluminous so lengthy in one word, I am super duper impressed with the quality of this mascara and it is gonna be my favorite mascara for this month, I'm pretty much sure. So yeah, I'm super duper impressed with this mascara. If you are looking for a good mascara, go for it. It is bomb. It is freaking bomb. The consistency is so thin. It is not crumbly. I mean, when I was layering it up, I applied actually two coats of mascara and it layered up pretty nicely. Sometimes when you are layering up a mascara, it becomes 
crumbly but with this mascara it did not happen which i actually liked i mean oh my god my lashes are looking really really big and really really pretty and i have nothing new to say about these lipsticks these lipsticks are really really good this petal pout uh, bullet lipsticks and the miracle matte lipsticks both of them are really really good if you want to grab these lipsticks just go ahead these are so so good and you will not be disappointed now talking about the eyeshadow palette first of all the shades are beautiful you are getting everything you want you are getting a transition color you are getting a matte dark brown color for your outer corners you are getting some a uh, matte shade some sh satin shade some sh beautiful shimmery shades the palette itself is really really good and the shadows blended beautifully i did not really have any issues with blending and stuff the shades are fairly pigmented the only negative thing that i have found with this palette is i got a lot of kickback i mean it was crazy a lot of kickback and i was not really expecting that from a 16 dollar palette so come on it's 16 dollar it's quite expensive as a drugstore eyeshadow palette so i was not really expecting that other than that it is a really nice palette and the brush where is the brush yeah here's a brush the brush is actually really really useful and it is really soft it just blended my shadows beautifully the brush is really really good if you can ignore those fallouts i mean i can see fallouts all over on my table right now it is full of eyeshadows so if you can ignore that much of fallout then definitely go for it it is a great palette the shades are pretty beautiful and you will never ever have any issues with the blending the quality is really really nice I know Flower Beauty is a bit expensive as a drugstore brand but if, if you still want to try out some Flower Beauty products then I will highly recommend you to go with this Flower Beauty highlighting palette. This palette is bomb and I promise you, I guarantee you, you will not be disappointed. This palette is so so good. I also like the Lash Warrior Mascara, those lipsticks, those Petal Pout lipstick and the um, liquid lipstick and the blush is really really good but i think like with that price tag you can have some good options so the blush is itself really really good so yeah that is it for this video and if you want me to try out any other flower beauty product then leave a comment in the uh, comment section down below if i find that product i'm definitely gonna try it out for you so that's it for this video if you like this video then hit the like button and please subscribe to my channel and please help my channel to grow even more so and if you are not following me on facebook instagram and twitter please do follow me there all the links will be given in the description bar below so please go ahead and check that out so yeah see you soon in my next one till then bye and take care Mwah.